I'm getting ready for a dinner event and I thought why not vlog the entire process because I do these videos on Instagram and TikTok but it's not really as detailed. I've got my makeup bag here. Ooh. Let's start with moisturizer. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream Moisturizer. I used to think Charlotte Tilbury was overrated but I swear to God, that brand is not. If anyone is wondering how I'm rich and how I can afford Charlotte Tilbury, I'm not. I get it as a part of their press gifting. Next is this serum. Today I went to this astrologer because I'm on a press trip in India and I, this astrologer just happened to be there. So I thought, you know what, why not just get a reading done? I'm a believer of law of attraction, so I'm very careful about what I start believing when people tell me something about myself. So anytime I hear something negative, I'm like, nope. That's, that's not what I want to hear. That's not how I want to think. So for the reading, he asked me to show my left palm, first of all. The main thing that he said was that I am going to meet a guy between 27 and 29. It doesn't excite me. I really, really like a single life. Maybe in a year or two, I might be ready. Or maybe when I do meet the guy, he would change my mind. Like, look at me. I'm like in my room right now, just filming a Get Ready With Me, which will go on YouTube, which will then, you know, make me money. Like, if a guy comes into my life and if he's not a good guy, then God, that amount of stress. I just don't think I want to deal with that. The foundation I'm using is a Makeup Forever HD Skin in the shade 3Y46. It is light for me because it's my sister's foundation. So I just have to go for this lighter foundation and like fix it. Nothing about a relationship really excites me. It's either the fact that I'm too traumatized for it or maybe I just love being alone too much. I don't know if there's something like that. This year, I've been single as hell. It's truly, truly insane what happens when you actually start focusing on yourself. Let's set the space first and then we'll continue. I'm using the Fenty Beauty Translucent Powder. The things that I've achieved, the things that I've done, like I know for a fact that I wouldn't have done it, you know, if I had a guy in my life. And I say this because guys can be very distracting. It's okay, I'm not saying it's a bad thing because I've seen some girls, you know, after they get a guy, like in the high of things, they forget a lot of things like their career and all of those things. And I used to hate that idea before, but now I think it's it's cute. Like you want to really indulge in one person and you really want to get to know the person. And, and you know, you're distracted, like it's fine. It's okay, it's not a bad thing at all, but I just don't want it. I will, I will be open to meeting someone when I feel confident about where I am in my life and I'm like, and I'm stable. Right now where I'm in my life is a little bit, I wouldn't say unstable, it's going up a lot. And if someone distracts me right now, my whole trajectory can change and I cannot have that. I cannot. I'm be using Huda Beauty's newest palette called Pretty Grunge. And because I'm, you know, such a strong believer of the law of attraction, I know for the fact that when I'm ready and I want to meet a guy, I'm so confident I'll meet him. When you fall in love with your life and, and you start experiencing like success when you're alone, you know that it's because you're not distracted. Like it's very hard to let a person in again in your life. For my liner, I'm using Rimmel in the shade Brownie Pie. MAC in the shade Vixen. Shit. When you absolutely cannot do this relationship anymore, like you cannot be in it anymore, and you're thinking to yourself, oh my God, what do I do? Like, I like this person, but he doesn't let me go, but like, we're, we're so in love and all of that shit if you're doing that. My biggest tip to you is, Pray, I'm serious. Pray to God and tell him and mean it, okay? Mean it and say, dear God, if this person is not for me, please take him away. It works like magic. I cannot even begin to explain how much it works. Hold on. I did this in December, okay? Like 10 months ago, I did it. This guy was like messing me up, messing me up. And I, I was never able to get rid of him because he was a part of our friend group and you know, uh, someone that does, uh, that calls for sympathy, like uh, the, the most vile human being that I've met in my life. And he made it impossible for me to like leave him. He made it impossible, trust me. And I was in this place where I just did not know what to do. So I remember it was, I think probably December 28th or 29th. I opened my diary. I turned off all the lights. I put a candle on my table and I wrote and I said, please God, take this dude away from me because I cannot like take it away from me. I don't want it. You know, I've resisted this for so long, but now I don't want it. Like I don't want to enter 2023 like this, like, please, like I'm ready. I, I cannot be like this anymore. Let me tell you something. The next day, reason from somewhere, I got balls of steel to call up this chick. And I say balls of steel because sometimes a lot of us know the truth, but we just don't want to accept it. I was too scared to like call up the girl. But this time I had the balls and I was so ready. So I called her up and I was like, Hey, we need to talk. I ended up finding out that this motherfucker played the fuck out of me. And the rest of that week, I was 
thanking God. Like I was literally praying to God and telling him, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for this. Thank you so much. I cannot even explain because he would have messed me up. Anyway, so I called up this girl and then I told her, let's meet. We met. She literally told me, you've no idea how much I've been waiting for you to call me or for some sign because just 10 minutes ago, I prayed to God and I said, if this isn't for me, please tell me. And I called her up. So I'm telling you, it works. Okay, guys, I need to do my hair and also charge my camera. So I'm going to be back with dried hair and then we'll straighten it together. With this robe and stuff, I feel rich as fuck. But the truth is that I can never afford this hotel ever. Be right back. I just checked my phone. I got this message from someone who is mocking the way I look. And I really think it's the most pointless comment. I just hate a lack of stability in my life. I hate it. I hate up and down emotions. I hate highs and lows in the way that I feel. People have different opinions. They're entitled to different opinions. But when you start taking it to heart, you will always be at the mercy of what everyone thinks about you. And I just hate that feeling. So even if I sometimes see a picture of myself that I don't like, I don't try to obsess over it. I don't try to allow myself to think too much of... Is this how I look? Am I actually ugly? Like, what will... Like, no, it's just... Okay, never mind. It's a bad picture. What can I do? Because it just really fucks you up. I think when you're a new sort of influencer, it can be hard. And I'm surprised myself that I don't care at all. Someone recently told me that, you know, you stick to your words so much that I don't have the balls. Like, I could never do that. And this came from a very, very big influencer. She has, like, I think 1.5 million or something. And when she told me that, I was like, okay, this is exactly what I need to keep doing. Invest in the GHD white plate straight now. It makes your hair so silky. I'm gonna change and be back. With that, we've come to an end of this video. My makeup is honestly pretty simple. So initially when I put the powder, it got too matte, but now I've already started like, like it's already started setting in with my skin. So skin looks good. Mascara I forgot to add is the Huda Beauty Legend Lashes Mascara. One more product, which I want to talk about. I'm gonna try this out now. It's the Huda Beauty Pretty Grunge Blush Gloss. Look at this. It becomes a blush, but like a glossy blush. So it gives you the literally the most beautiful glow. God, I'm obsessed with this product. Matte as hell. This side has a lot more so. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, the blush is getting pinker over time but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more don't forget to subscribe to my channel follow me on Instagram follow me on TikTok and I'll see you guys next time bye do like a crop in of my face